it was kind of bizarre for me to to understand why Charles was was calling me out on something that I've been saying exactly what he's saying. You know, and I, I took issue and I will take issue. Listen, if Chris Larson or Brad Garlinghouse said this, I wouldn't hesitate to say to them, correct them if they're going to call something a conspiracy or grand conspiracy when it is 100 percent factual. And so what I was saying to Charles is, you know, since we aren't bringing that up in the Ripple case and we are doing the way we're supposed to in Congress and using our elected officials, when you say that, all those people that send a message to Congress, it's undermining them. When Empower Oversight, which doesn't own XRP, owns no crypto, has nothing to do with John Deaton, when they fight for transparency in our government, they sue the SEC, expend time and resources, catch the SEC in a lie, get 1,200 emails that conclusively prove, conclusively prove that Bill Hinman violated the law. It's not an allegation, people. It's a fact, okay? When you then say it's a grand conspiracy, you're undermining all of that effort and energy because your voice is so much more po important. I don't know if it's important, more powerful. Your voice is one of the single most important people in crypto, a founder of ETH, a, a co-founder of ETH, a founder of Cardano. When you speak, so many more people listen to you than they're going to listen to me. Because you're more important than I am in the crypto world. You're more important than all those people as far as your voice, right? And so it's frustrating because it's like, Charles, don't do that. And that's all I was trying to do. And 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 so I think, unfortunately, Charles doesn't know me. I'm assuming, any, nor should he. Um, he doesn't know all that effort. And, um, you know, maybe he's confusing me with these trolls on internet who say to him, hey, dig up information on him. That's not us. That's not the entire XRP community. I don't stand for that. And so that's was like, it's like the bizarro world for me to, to, to face that. And so the last thing I'll say on it, guys, is let me make this clear. I want everyone to understand that there is no conspiracy. And you guys were right and I was wrong. And, and I, I don't know. Sorry. Say that again. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, I can admit, dude, I'm wrong sometimes, right? So, uh, you guys were right and I was wrong because, and I'll tell you exactly what I'm talking about. If you recall the last time I was on your show, I said that, listen, we don't, we haven't seen the SEC brief yet. We haven't seen all the evidence yet. And I actually predicted that the SEC would have a couple gems against Ripple. And I said, it may be a couple bad days of publicity for Ripple. I don't know if you remember me saying that. I oh, said, yeah. but, you know, we haven't seen all the evidence and there's got to be more that I'm missing. Now, that was a, an assumption I was making, like, this can't be it. And then I read the, the summary judgment and I said, holy shit, <laughs> there's nothing there. Like, there's no more egregious conduct behind the scenes. There was, you know, it was, well, here's an email. Of course, no XRP holder would be privy to this stuff. Here's an email where Chris Larson said, I love it because an employee said, hey, XRP holders like something, right? Or this or that. Well, none of that stuff is out there. All that complaint says, guys, is that Ripple promoted the shit out of Ripple. And Ripple promoted XRP. It's cold outside. I'm alive.